What's going on y'all? Tinnies for life here. In this video, we'll be discussing the ticker ABML, which stands for American Battery Metal Core. And this is another one of those interesting OTC marketplace stocks, except compared to my previous videos, this one is not a pink sheet. This is actually an OTC QB. I find this company to be very interesting given the value that I see in the future in terms of mass production of EV vehicles and needing something to do with those batteries. And so we'll get started first looking at today's history. So we see that the stock ended at $2.80. It was up 9.38% today. And over the past five days, kind of see a little bit steadiness here where it's kind of stayed in that $2 realm. So we kind of see that this stock has been taking a beat down over the past month, as were a lot of stocks in the OTC market. And we see it slowly starting to creep its way back up with a 52 week high of $4.90. So let's head over to the OTC market page and learn more about ABML. And here we are on the OTC market page discussing ABML. If you look to our right here, we see that this is a certified OTC QB since 2018 of February. They also verify profiles and they have independent directors. Our description for American Battery Metal Corporation is as follows. American Battery Metals Corporation is an advanced technology battery recycling and resource production company based in Nevada. The company is focused on its Railroad Valley Battery Metal Project in Nevada with the goal of becoming a substantial domestic supplier of battery metals to the increasing electric vehicles and battery storage markets in America. So we can see right away that their name tells everything that their description is about, right? American Battery Metals Corporation. So we're talking about American jobs, American workers, and they're having the plan of being a substantial domestic in America supplier of battery metals to the increasing electric vehicles and battery storage markets of America. If you haven't been living under a rock over the past few years, you can tell the direction that the country and the world is wanting to go to, which is that green energy initiative, getting those solar power, wind power, anything that can also store those powers to include batteries, and of course, everyone's favorite means of conveyance, the vehicle, and not just any vehicle, electric vehicles. We see that those are definitely becoming the buzz nowadays. There's no doubt in my mind, electric vehicles will be the future in terms of the most popular means of conveyance. So now we'll take a look at the share structure for ABML. And we see in terms of authorized shares, they have 1.2 billion authorized shares. And outstanding shares is 527 million, which I think is a pretty good spot to be at. Now granted, this is the OTCQB, which is the venture market. So at this point in the game, we expect companies to kind of be more on the up and up compared to other stocks who are still in the pink sheets. And here we are on the OTC market for ABML's news release. And I feel like spending a little bit of time here because I feel like there's some very important information to be gathered from these recent previous news releases, especially in terms of shareholder value. And so first thing we'll take a look at is titled American Battery Metals Corporation Reaches Critical Milestones. And so ABML, an American owned lithium ion battery recycling technology and advanced extraction company with extensive mineral resources in Nevada, which is in the process of changing its name to American Battery Technology Company, ABTC, today announced updates on critical milestones it has achieved on the path to opening its pilot lithium ion battery recycling plant in Fernley, Nevada. And we see here, this is the new sign they're already coming out with so american battery technology company so we won't read the entire description but we will at least browse over the main title points so they purchased the pilot factory land they secured water rights and they hired design and build a construction firm to take care of it with the bottom saying abdc is finalizing its permitting processes with the city and in department and will announce updated permitting and construction timelines in early 2021 and then we have a quote here from the ceo himself abtc is making great strides to construct our pilot lithium ion battery recycling facility in fernley nevada as quickly as possible we are grateful for nevada's support to do so at full capacity our pilot facility will recycle 20,000 metric tons 
of feed stock a year to recover critical and strategic materials needed to manufacture new EV and consumer electronic batteries and to ensure these lithium ion batteries do not end up in a landfill as waste. So that's a pretty important statement there. Again, they are domestic. They are staying in America. So we're talking about American workers being hired to work in America for an American company. And again, at full capacity, they're touting that they will be able to recycle 20,000 metric tons, 20,000 metric tons of feedstock a year to recover critical and strategic materials which are needed to manufacture new EV and consumer electronic batteries. So they're in the whole gamut of the battery world, not just for electric vehicles, but other things that consumers may need. And so this one facility is going to be pretty key again for this company, especially because they are based out of Nevada and they're domestic in America. All right. So the second news article that I wanted to go over today, which was released on January 28, 2021, which is titled American Battery Metals Company Selected for $4.5 million Grant by United States Department of Energy Advanced Manufacturing Office. This funding opportunity is part of the Department of Energy's efforts to reduce American dependence on imported critical materials by both diversifying their sources of materials needed for energy technologies and establishing domestic capabilities to refine materials used in manufacturing. So already off the cuff, we see here the whole point of this was to reduce United States dependence on other places in importing those type of materials when we can do it right here in America. American Battery Technology Company and its industry partners are excited to have been selected for this competitive opportunity to address these challenges and to help fill our nation's energy storage needs while shifting towards a clean energy economy that addresses climate change and grows domestic manufacturing employment. So no doubt about it, this was competitive. They had to compete to get this. And so this is not going to be some type of shell, you know, trash company that America is going to invest $4.5 million into making this thing happen. And we all know where we're headed, right? Especially with this administration, clean energy economy that addresses climate change and grows domestic manufacturing employment. So this is all beneficial to America. Climate change, going green, and building American jobs. So next we'll read this quote. We are proud to have been selected for this opportunity along with our industry partners after undergoing a rigorous competitive assessment over the past six months. And that was from the battery technology company CTO, uh, Ryan Meltzert. He also stated, we are excited to move forward with this proposed three-year project that will evolve our first-of-a-kind system design from bench scale validations to the construction, commissioning, and operation of multi-ton, multi-ton per day integrated system that receives lithium-rich claystone material as the feed and manufactures battery cathode specification lithium hydroxide as the product. So clearly this is great news and a win for ABML and whole. Next statement, American Battery Technology Company CEO Doug Cole stated, we are grateful to have been selected for this award from the Department of Energy. We are fortunate to work with forward thinking collaborative partners, including the United States government, as we seek to create a self-sustaining and closed-loop economy for the domestic production of critical and strategic battery metals that will fuel the clean energy revolution. And that was directly from the CEO. So again, this was another news article I want to share because I thought this was pretty big news that not only are they hiring American workers and they're doing work in America for America, but they also received a $4.5 million grant by the United States Department of Energy Advanced Manufacturing Office, which is only going to be beneficial for ABML. And now back at our company profile, we'll take a look at financial reporting and company officers. So we see that ABML reports to the SEC and that they are currently audited. Their latest report was December 31, 2020. So they are currently up to date on all their filings, which is required for OTCQB. We see that their company officers, the CEO and CFO, Douglas D. Cole. We heard a little bit from Ryan Meltzart, who is the CTO. But we're going to focus more on Douglas D. Cole and exactly who this person is as the CEO of ABML. 
And here we are at the LinkedIn page for the CEO of ABML, which is Doug Cole. So we'll read a little bit about Doug Cole to kind of see what he's about. So Doug Cole is currently the CEO of American Battery Metals Corporation, a lithium resource exploration and development company headquartered in Nevada. Mr. Cole, age 62, has also been a partner with Objective Equity LLC since 2005, a boutique investment bank focused on the high technology, data analytics, and the mining sector. Mr. Cole currently serves on the board of directors of eWellness Healthcare Corporation. Since 1977, Mr. Cole has held various executive roles, including chairman, executive vice chairman, chief executive officer, and president of multiple public corporations. So clearly there, he has a lot of experience. From May 2000 to September 2005, he was also the director of Lair the Bear, the University of California family camp located in Pinecrest, California. During the period between 1991 and 1996, he was the CEO of HealthSoft and he also founded and operated Great Bear Technology, which acquired Sony Image Soft and Star Press, then went public and eventually sold to Graphics Zone. In 1995, Mr. Cole was honored by NEA, a leading venture capital firm, as CEO of the year. In 1997, Mr. Cole became CEO of Net America until merging in 1999. Since 1982, he has been very active with the University of California, Berkeley, mentoring early stage technology companies. Mr. Cole has extensive experience in global M&A and global distributions. He obtained his bachelor's in social science from UC Berkeley in 1978. So that's a pretty large resume for this gentleman here. He obviously has a lot of experience in leadership position as executive officers for multiple companies. So without a doubt, I feel like he is a pretty well-rounded person when it comes to being a CEO of a corporation. And then the experience, this basically summarizes everything that we read up there. But big key takeaways here is that he's been the American Battery Technology Company, ABTC's, president or CEO since November 2017, so three years and five months approximately. And then here we can see a little more information of his education. And here we are at the website for American Battery Metals Corporation, and we can see here that they, at the very top, say they're in the process of changing their name to American Battery Technology Company, and they are embracing this new name change and the symbol that they've created for it. And I kind of want to go over this website, just taking a look at it. You know, it looks like a nice, clean website, pretty easy has great transitional pieces in there that move around whenever you hover over things. And so we see here nice pictures, recycling, extraction, resource production. If we click on the how it works section here, I thought this was pretty interesting. So leading the way toward a more circular economy, ABTC is pioneering a closed loop battery recycling process that separates and recovers each individual element metal from end-of-life batteries from consumer electronics, stationary storage applications, and electronic vehicles, as well as defects and waste from battery manufacturing facilities. So not only are they taking end-of-life batteries, they're taking batteries that maybe other places didn't do so well with that are defected or that are wasted. And so instead of putting those in a landfill, ABTC will take this on and they will do that closed loop battery recycling process on it. This next sentence I thought was pretty key. These recovered metals are refined to battery grade specifications and then sold back into the supply chain in a true closed loop process. So they're basically making gold out of trash. I love this. I love that they're able to do this and that they are keeping it out of the landfill. I think that is very important, especially in terms of the Going Green initiative and keeping the world a healthier place to live in. So that brings us to this next section of looking forward. The recycling of existing energy storage feedstock is a paramount is of paramount importance. ABTC is meeting the supply chain challenge by developing an integrated lithium ion battery recycling facility. While many conventional methods of lithium ion battery recycling typically produce cobalt and nickel, the ABTC process completely recycles and recovers every critical element from a battery pack while producing zero waste. 
zero waste. The facility will process end-of-life batteries and manufacturing scrap metals, extracting each of the key elements from electric vehicle and consumer electronic lithium-ion batteries. Every unit of battery metal that is recycled is one less unit required by importation or mining. And so that is very key. Again, keeping it domestic, keeping it safe. And if we take a look in terms of their approach to sustainability, we see here the opportunity. So this one is an interesting read as well. Lithium will continue to be a critical mineral for military applications and future research and development programs within the fence department. So they're calling out the Department of Defense. They're wanting to continue getting those grants, I'm sure. As the demand for electric vehicles and battery technologies increases, market analysts are predicting a supply shortage for metals used to make lithium ion batteries. And that's a pretty interesting thought, running out of the materials. So what does ABTC plan to do about this? In 2018, global EV sales rose from 64% over 2017 figures and by 2025, EVs will make up nearly 10% of all passenger car sales. A figure that is expected to hit 38% by 2040. Most major automobile manufacturers plan to transition to fully electric vehicles by 2050. So that seems like it could be far away, but that's less than 30 years from the making of this video. Global lithium supply is predicted to fall short of meeting growing demand in the near term. ABTC's deep-rooted growth strategy focuses on the production of lithium and other battery metals, scaling to meet demand and applying our keen understanding and skills to the entire lithium-ion battery technology lifecycle. Further, given the current U.S. trade situation with China and the ongoing demand for lithium as a strategic and critical mineral, the company's proposed operations in Nevada offer a timeless solution to support the new paradigm focused on nurturing U.S. domestic supply of strategic materials. So as we've read multiple times throughout this video, they are all about domestic help for the United States. And an interesting figure I saw down here is that 5% of global lithium ion batteries are recycled. Only 5% in the world of lithium ion batteries are recycled. So. Again, you can imagine how well this company could potentially do in America when it comes to recycling lithium ion batteries. And if we take a look at the investors and we see the press release here, they do have the same news feeds that you would see in the OTC market. And you may wonder, well, what big difference does that make? I think this is great because this, again, helps kind of get the word out and also shows transparency in the company that they're not afraid to put up their PR news releases and in terms of investor relations, they're also not afraid to show how their stock is doing on their own webpage. So again, this just shows great transparency with their filings and everything else that's included on their webpage. Another interesting aspect I found on the website was that on contact, you can actually go to send us batteries. Have batteries that need to be recycled? Do you have rechargeable lithium batteries that you want to recycle? We can recycle the batteries from electric vehicles, drones, phones, laptops, tablets, power tools, and more using our environmentally friendly process. Let us know how we can help. They placed an email contact information here soliciting batteries from folks who don't need them no more and they'll take them within their own hands, they'll recycle it, and then they can sell it right back into the market again. So this is pretty smart in my opinion and I think a great aspect that this company has. All right, and then taking a look at the company's Twitter page, we see they've already adopted the name American Battery Technology Company. They have approximately 4,000 followers, and we can see here that they are keeping their Twitter feed nice and updated. Last post approximately 10 hours ago, and they are staying engaged with what's happening in the news and getting the word out continuously about their company. And we also see the CEO, Doug Cole, also has his own Twitter page, which has approximately 1,000 followers. You will see that he keeps this updated as well, but it typically mimics about the same that you see on the company, made with a few differences here and there. But it is still nice to see that he has a couple of avenues in terms of getting the word out about ABTC. And finally, here we are on a stock twitch page for ABML. We see they have approximately 27,000 followers. So no doubt about it, this company has been generating some buzz and I can only imagine that that is going to continue to increase 
as the renewable energy market continues to increase as well as EV vehicles and anything else that requires battery use. So what were your thoughts on ABML slash ABTC? Did they win you over? My disclaimer for this video is that I do not currently have any shares invested in ABTC Although, if I did have available funds, I would certainly consider investing into them. I think they have a lot of room to grow, especially as the EV and energy markets continue to increase. Also, them receiving that grant from the United States Department for $4.5 million to make their own recycling plant within America to help out America itself, I think is pretty big for the company and is a great step forward. But I want to see what your thoughts are on this company. What do you think? Is this a company that's going to continue to grow? Or are you concerned about some challenges that lie ahead? In any event, please post your responses in the comment section below. And if you get a chance, please share with your friends, stock twits, Twitter, Reddit. It would greatly be appreciated. Like, comment, subscribe to the video if you liked it. If you don't like it, there's a dislike button over there as well. In any event, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.